this is the second part of the introduction to APL where we're going to see some useful tricks. Very often we have to use the same number over and over again. For example here we're using the number 0 0.55 four different places. It would be nice if we could give it a shortcut or a name. In this case here it's not too bad because we only, we're only using it four times but if we had to use it many many times and the number was more complicated like the one below then it would be nice to have a shortcut that we could use instead of having to type this number all the time for example here we give the number 0.55 the name n and the way we do it is with the little left arrow right there thereafter we can use it in calculations as for example here we see n plus 3 and n times n Names can be made out of several letters. For example, here, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are assigned the name items. Name items can then be used in further calculations. And we can see that the result of a calculation with items can itself be given a name. For example, below we can see that 2 times items is given the name capital A, which itself can be used in other calculations. If we look, we now have N which contains 0 0.55 and capital A which contains a list of five numbers. Those two names can be used together in an expression and combined to give another result. Names are also called variables. Those names, those variables can be reused. For example, the variable n which previously contained 0 0.55 now can be assigned a new value and, and we give it a new value 1.5. This new value is then used in all subsequent calculations. Names can be composed of upper and lowercase letters and numbers. For example, the variable ABC123 capital X, Y, and Z is assigned a value 23. That variable can then be used in calculations. But names must start with a letter. They cannot start with a number. If we try to do that, APL will not understand and issue what is called a syntax error. Trying to assign a number to another number is not accepted in APL. So where do we find that little arrow? The arrow is located on the left bracket key on a US or UK keyboard and you have to use control to get at it. To find all the names we use what is called a system command. In this case the system command right paren vars will list all the variables that are in use at the time we issue the command. Any statement starting with a right parenthesis is called a system command. There are several system commands in APL. One of them we've seen is vars, gives us the list of all the variables. Right paren off is another command which terminates the session with APL. And right paren erase is another command that erases a name in APL. To erase a name, all you have to do is write per an erase and the name of the variable that you're trying to get rid of. If you try to use that name afterwards, you will get a value error because APL has assigned no value to it yet. It is no longer there. System commands can be written in either upper or lower case. Tables, also called matrices, are numbers organized in rows and columns like this. For example, here we have three rows and four columns of the numbers 1 to 12. Matrices are often used to represent data in tabular form. We see those types of tables in spreadsheet, for example. Here's an example where we have three days of sales of four types of drinks. On day one, we had three sales of lemon, four of lime, seven of punch, and one of raspberry. On day two, we had similar results, and on day three also. Tables can be created using reshape. Reshape is a function in APL. It has two arguments. The argument on the left represents the rows and the columns, or the dimensions, of the array we want to create. And the right argument is the data we need to reshape. In the example here, we have three rows and four columns as the left argument, 3, 4. And we have the numbers 1 to 12 as the right argument. APL recreates the data in tabular form, and three rows, four columns of the numbers 1 to 12. Here's another example where we reshape the numbers 1956, 5, 6, 2006, 8, 17 in three rows and two columns. 
further below, we reshape it again. This time we give it a name and we reshape it in the form of two rows and three columns. Reshape can be used to reshape anything. For example, we can reshape the number two four times, so we get a list of four numbers which are all the number two. We can also reshape the variables as can be seen here. So where is that character? It is called rho, like the Greek letter. It reshapes and to get it you have to use control with the letter R. We can operate on tables just like lists, all at once. For example, I can divide the contents of a table by two. I can add a table to another or to itself. So the concept of rank comes into play. Vectors are lists of scalars and tables or matrices are lists of vectors. They are all called arrays. An array is any piece of data arranged in some list of some kind. A vector is an array of rank 1 because only one number is used to describe its length. A matrix is an array of rank 2 because two numbers are used to describe its rows and columns. And we can imagine arrays with higher ranks. So to recap, values can be given a name. Those names are also called variable. There are special system commands like vars, which lists all the variables, and erase, which erases a variable. Matrices regroup numbers in rows and columns. Reshape is used to reshape values, and arrays are groups of more than one scalar. That's it.